Well, good afternoon. It's 12, um, and it's Tuesday, November 24th, and it's about 12.15 in the afternoon. I'm down here at my old favorite beach, and um, looks like a pretty nice day. I'm going to check out to see if we got a bunch of rocks down here. This has been, uh, been pretty rocky lately, as a lot of you know. But uh, it's a balmy day, nice little little cloud cover out there. It's looking looking pretty. Low tides at about two o'clock, so I'm here just a couple hours ahead of time, which is good. And what do we got? Yeah, I don't know. Looks kind of like a beach to me. Yeah, looks nice. What a beautiful day, man. So, I'm going to go ahead and do my usual thing. I'll head south and see what happens down there. And then, if nothing happens, I'll just meander on back up here again. So, I'll get back to you if I find something. It's right about there. <laughs> Rocky. Notice I have the... Uh, the rock dog attached. I haven't really seen much reason to take it off yet, so we'll just we'll just keep hunting with her. See what happens. Really appreciate the feedback I've been getting from you guys on this thing. I've gotten some really good some really good feedback on on this rock dog. Pretty easy to fabricate, really. If you, if you want to make one. Got the, as long as you've got a couple good tools. Whatever the hell it is, it's down in there or it's on the side of the hole or something like that. Okay. Maybe there, eh? Yep. Okay, now I knocked it into the hole. Whatever she is, she's in there. Oh, crap. Never gonna get it out of there now. <laughs> there it is. There it is. And it's uh, it's an iron target. It's nulling out. Apparently in the scoop. Yep. Little piece of little piece of iron stuck to my magnet. Okay. First target. Not so good, but what the hell. Dave's young. I don't know. But it's just right there. I think. Yeah, it's right there, all right. Check it out, folks. Look what old Tone's got here. Ha <laughs> ha baby. Yeah, baby. It's a little ring in the scoop, and it looks awful good. It could be a little 92 fiber. Really cute little ring. Okay. <laughs> Things is looking up, dude. Okie doke. I'll get back to you. My, my. Okay, go get him there, rock dog. Yeah. Right there in the scoop. And I got me first quarter of the day. Yeah, nice. Good. I'll take it. 
Okay, so check this out. Look at this thing. Got a hole through it. I guess it says SF. I don't know what the hell it is. Is it attached to something or is it some kind of a token? I don't know. Kind of cool looking. Yeah, we'll look at it a little closer when we get in. Okay. Onward. You can see there's a, we're getting at low tide. The surf's not even coming over the top of that sandbar there. And I'm, I'm actually hunting inside this little slough, which is totally uncovered with just nothing but rocks. And I'll tell you what, it's, uh, it's pretty optimal. This is the, about the best, best way you can find stuff. If it's if something here, I'll probably find it. But uh, just walking along this little slough on this side of that sandbar, it's, uh, it's getting me a lot of targets. Okay, I'll get back to you. Oops. Yeah, what do we got here? Oh, got something shiny. Yeah. It's a nickel. The nickel is all wrapped up, but it's a nickel. I think, pretty sure. Yeah, it's gotta be a nickel. Boy, it sure is shiny. Anyway, it's a nickel. Yeah, it's probably aluminum, but I don't know. I'm sure not going to walk away from it, just because it sounds a little crappy. What could it be? No, it's certainly not aluminum either. Another nickel. Awesome, 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 awesome. Right there. Somewhere's. Yeah, well, the other quarter. Hey, I want to just give a shout out to my buddy Ross. Man, I wish you were here. But on the other hand, if you're PI, I think this would have driven you kind of crazy today. But there's a ton of targets and it's just about what uh, we were kind of hoping for so maybe next time man anyway um, hope you heal up real fast but got me a quarter well now who would have guessed this check this out <laughs> look at that stuck to my magnet so of course we know what it is but look at that little cute little thing Wow, that's pretty cute, definitely just junk, but, you know, it's another one of those, you know what it is, ring in the scoop. <laughs> okay, ah, I think, it, you know what, it looks a little bit like a tiara, Keith, kind of, don't it, sort of? Yeah. <laughs> Just sitting there looking at me. Ah! A little penny. Hey! And look at that, guys. It's another wheat scent. Oh, yeah, that one's, in, that one's in much better shape than the one I got yesterday. Man, there's some old... Okay, so there's some old stuff here, and that's... Uh, that's good news. That old, that little silver ring that had been here for a while, and uh, these wheat scents. So I'm, I'm thinking I'm down here to some old territory. Looking good. I'll keep it up. God dang! Listen to this. Wow. Sounds pretty, pretty freaking amazing. Amazing? Amazing is not a word. Amazing. Let's see what we got. Let's see what amazing 
brings us in the scoop. And what we got? Yeah, a chunk of an old key. Ah, somebody said the other day, I don't know who it was, but I was watching another video, and they were saying that uh, you find old keys like this and it's a really good sign. It really is a good sign because, uh, you know, they're here for a long time, they get beat up like this, that means that they've been here for a while. So, and they're heavy. So, that means that there's some, probably some good old targets here. If somebody would have, if somebody ran over this thing with the coil, they would have surely picked it up. It really sounds great. Anyway, that's how that is. Wow. That sounds kind of amazing. In there somewhere. And in there somewhere. There somewhere. What the hell? Going through the scoop? Is that the issue? Yeah, I think so. If I get get enough big, big scooper of it. Come on. I will get him. Right in there somewhere. See, the thing of it is, is that it really sounds tiny and it sounds like it's made out of gold. So, I'm not likely going to just walk away from it. Okay, so, it's on the surface right there somewhere. So I'm going to see if I can find it with my carrot here. Well, I think I got it. Well, for crying out loud. God almighty, man. I mean, that was not tiny. That was, that was freaking huge. <laughs> and I got me a, a ring in the scoop. That's number three for the day. Not bad, not bad at all. I'll take it. Yeah, nice. 
lightweight. Man, that was a toughie. But I'll take it. One of those old lead weights with the uh, whatever was whatever whatever used to be there to hold on to it is gone. But that's that's uh, that's lead, big chunk of lead. Cool. Well, it's been a pretty amazing day out here, actually. I've gotten quite a quite a few things, quite a few goodies. And it turned out to be a really, really pretty day. A little bit on the uh, a little bit on the dark side, but really pretty. Absolutely beautiful. And uh, to make it even better, I found three rings and a whole bunch of other goodies. It's been a really good good day. So, I'm going to wrap it up and I'll, uh, I'll see you guys back at the wrap up. Okay, so we got a wrap up here. I um, didn't want to do the wrap up at the beach because it was just too, it was getting too cold. I was getting, I was freezing my butt off and it was getting a little dark. So, we'll pick it up here. It was a pretty darn good day. Um, found a lot of goodies. So, for trash, um, just the usual stuff, a lot of lobster trap bits and pieces, lots of sharp little thingies, lots of, um, lots of these little guys, lots of pull tabs, pull tab city, um, and that's about it for trash, I think. For oddities, I found a pair of sunglasses, fine pair of sunglasses, they're a little, a little trashed on the, uh, on, on the front end, but you know, you can put a little bit of olive oil on there, I guess, and you probably clean them up pretty good. Made, made in China. Um, little vehicle. These things are kind of beat because they're they've been they've been there for a while in these in these rocks. This somebody told me that these things they use for um, the beachgoers use them to hold the towels on their body. Yeah, that makes sense. I didn't even think about that, but yeah, that's what that's probably why I find so many of them. A couple of chunks of lead. And this thing is aluminum, I think. I'm not sure. I think it's aluminum. Just a big, just a big disc of aluminum. And toasted key. And I don't know what the hell this is. I'm gonna. I'll break this thing open while while you guys are watching. Or maybe not while you're watching, but at least uh, in a second. It's, it's a, some kind of a foreign coin, I'm sure. For our treasures, we got. Uh, they did pretty good. We got. Uh, four quarters, four dimes, two nickels, I think there's 11 or 12 pennies there, and two wheat pennies. This is a 1958, this is a 1945. Yeah, let me show, let me see. You see the wheat, little wheat thingies there. I like wheat pennies. And that, when I found that, that had a date on it that said 1945. And on the back of it, there's a over the top of Monticello there there's an S so that would make that a war that would make that a war nickel a 1945 war nickel silver war nickel the problem is is that I think it's a fake because it's uh, it looks like it the, the um, it looks like it's like it's peeling off and after I kind of cleaned it up a little bit with my fingernail the date wore off I can't even tell it's 45 anymore but it did say 1945 anyway I don't know what the hell it is but uh, but, I, but I'm pretty sure it's I'm pretty sure it's a phony fake. And this one here is kind of cool. This is a this is a this is a a, 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 a a San Francisco. It's a a train token. It's a it says municipal railroad railroad municipal railway. On the other side it says one fare San Francisco. Um, I don't have any idea how old it is or what it's all about, but. Uh, it's a very cool little token. I'm digging it. And then for rings, well, you guys saw these too. This is uh, it's probably just stainless. It's nothing, nothing fancy. I cannot find anything written on the inside of it. It is a Christian thing. It's got a cross on it here, which is kind of nice. I'm sure it really looked pretty when it was new because it was. It had this black bright black uh, or really really dark shiny black surface on the inside probably look that way on the outside too but um you know it's been it's been in the uh, under the rocks for a while so i'm sure it's, it's taken a beating and this little bingy ring cute little bingy ring and then the little little 
silver thing. I'm, I'm almost positive this is silver. I haven't been able to find anything written on the inside of it because it's pretty crusty. But I will shine it up a little bit. And if it is what I think it is, you'll see it on the end of the video uh, with a much nicer image. It's a pretty little, pretty little ring. It's a nice little stone, nice little uh, designs on it. So that's about it. It's, um, oh yeah, I was going to show you this thing. Just a second, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I, I just knocked a bunch, of this, a bunch of the crap off of it just to, so you can get an idea of what it looks like. It's got a hole in the middle of it. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll clean it up a little bit. I mean, these, these coins are pretty toasted, so I'm not really too worried about cleaning them and polishing them. Um, yeah, don't know what it is. Just one of those. So that, that is it for the day. Um, pretty good hunt, actually, for, you know, finding all kinds of old stuff is always fun. And, um, and I think, like I said, I think that is silver, this little guy. But we will find out. Oh, yeah, I forgot. This is what I did to my hand. Nice little gash there. And that's the culprit right there. That bugger caught on my, um, on my, uh, on my little, um, rock dog when I was drilling holes in it and it just um, you know, pulled it up and s kept on spinning and smacked me in the back of the hand. Anyhow, I will live. So, that's it. Everybody um, have a great day. Be safe out there. Happy hunting and uh, thanks again for watching.